So where do we go from here? Well, notice that uh, with a two three by three solve, these kind of got out of place over here. I guess you could put it here. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. But you can see that the corners are out of sync. They're out of sync because they were placed out of sync in relation to the layer when we synced it up with this layer. So in a two three by three solve, this this would have been fine. Now we could fix that now and just um, do corner swapping or edge swapping, but at this point it really doesn't matter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start lining up these edges. We have to get them all flipped in the right direction. So how are we going to do this? So we want to permute all of these guys. Well, we already know how to do that. Can you guess how I'm going to do that? How am I going to rotate these? Well, we're going to do the same way we rotated these guys. If I see these here, can't I just red bullet? And that's what I'm going to do. So we do another red bolt to flip these guys over here. We're going to have to deal with these in kind, but that won't be a problem. Do a red bolt to permute, or rather orient, these sides so that the white is facing up. So we're going to do 2R. Now in this case, we can just do the terminal ends. We're not bandaged anymore. So that's 2R, 2B, except for the top to U, L. Two up, R I. Two up, R. Two up. Two F, R. Two F. L I. Two B. Two R. Okay, so now these are flipped correct. Um, so too, there's that price that we had to pay. This is out, this is out. We can easily put those in. Do it any method that you want. This is how I do it. This will come here, this will come here, and this will come here. Bring it up, turn it, bring it across, down and down. Okay, so how are we gonna deal with these guys? We'll move this in over here. Well, all I have to do is move these to the same line over here. I'm not gonna do corner swaps. I guess I could, which would move this to here and then this to here. I could do a bunch of corner swaps. That could work. Or better yet, I can just double turn this here and double turn this here. And without any further ado, we'll go ahead and red bull this to flip it down being careful to reconstruct what I just did. 2R, 2B, 2U, L, 2 up, RI, 2 up, R, 2 up, 2F, R, 2F, LI, 2B, 2R. So these are flipped correct. So what I'm gonna do is reconstruct it. Remember what I did to bring it back. I actually had to move this into this direction. You can see that these are out, so I'm just gonna double turn it like so. I'm really just bringing it back to where it was before and then double turn it over here. All these are flipped up. You can see that I paid a little bit of a price, so I just have to do a little bit of cleanup. So I'm gonna take these two, bring it in like so bump it out of the way in a different plane down here. Remember I brought these two planes up. I'm gonna double turn this over here like so. Now bring it back, bring these two planes up, turn it again, and bring these two over here. Okay, I just have this one to go. Turn this over here. Bump it out of the way. Double turn, turn it here, back, and forth, and we're in. Okay, so I've achieved that goal. These are all now rotated up, and now I just follow suit. Do the same thing, starting from the center. These will be my edges, these will be my corners. Do I have two corners in, and no. Okay, so what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna put in the corners over here. But remember, I've gotta sync it up with this side over here. So do I have any corners that are already in? I'm looking at as though these are edges, this is an edge, and these are corners. Looking around and I don't see any corners that are in. So to, do, so to put it in, here's a green over here. I don't see the green here, so that's not what's gonna do it. Here's a blue, and here's a blue over here. So corner swap will put the blues together. 
So when I do this, what's gonna happen is I'll have one corner that's in, which is the blue, and in this layer, I'm gonna have only one corner piece that's in also. Because if I do that, if I do a corner swap, I'm gonna take all the other corners out as it's facing in front of me and only have one, so it's gonna be synced. If I just had one corner that was in, that was already in, what I would do is I wouldn't move it to the side to get all the corners in, because if I did, then I would screw up this layer too. I would have to take it and put the two in in front of me so that I can have only one set of corners in on the top layer after the maneuver and just one set of corners in on this layer. It'll sync it up. It's exactly the same uh, as we did uh, before. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this blue, move it over here to our U, to our UI, to our turn, turn, to our UI, to our U, to our, and move it back. Okay, so here's the deal with this. This is in, and we only have one down here that's in as predicted. This is in, this is in, this is not, this is not. We have another floppy parody. So what we're gonna do is we want to maintain this. We wanna maintain this uh, we want to maintain two that are in to deal with a parity, but what I want to do is I want to get all this back. So this is to the side. If I move this to the side, then what's going to happen is this will be maintained, and uh, I'm going to have another set of corners that are in somewhere over here. So now I'm going to move it to the side the way I normally would, and anticipate that there's going to be another one that's going to be on, on top. To our U, to our UI, to our turn, turn. To our UI, to our U, to our. So it's this kind of syncing that is what we want. So as predicted, these are in and these are in, but these aren't. What I want to do is I want to get the sides that are out opposite each other. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, if I do a corner swap, uh, an adjacent edge swap rather, with these edges uh, collectively called an edge, this to here, this to here, then I'm gonna have this opposite the one that's in, this will be opposite the one that's out. But understand by doing that, by moving it like that, I'm gonna cause placement parity down here. Here, We know how to get out of that. As long as I've swapped them, I can then do an opposite edge swap and get this back without changing my configuration. So let's swap these two. To our U, to our U, to our, to U to R, to U, to R, U, to R, UI, to R. Okay, just what I want to have happen. These two are opposite each other, as are these. To get all of this mess back, because I swapped um, these two as well, and I also swapped these two, what I'm gonna to wanna to do is do an opposite edge swap to get this back. Now, these two will not be gotten back. We're kinda of stuck with this for now. Um, but I just want to get this. I don't want to destroy too many layers. So let's do an opposite edge swap. It's not going to fix these. As a matter of fact, it's going to make it a little worse, but that's okay for now. To R, to you, to R, to you, to R, to you. My purpose in doing that, retain this layer over here, retain the configuration of these corners that are in opposite, these corners that are out opposite. And uh, unfortunately, these were taken out, but these can be added back in later. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that these guys are solved. So the way, way I'm going to do that is the same kind of thing. First I'm going to red bull this so that I can swap these two. To R. To B. To U. L. To up. R. I. To up. R. To up. To F, R, to F, L, I, to B, to R. All right, so I've got these two nice and upside down. I'm gonna double turn this, so I can take this orange, and I'll move it over here. What that's gonna do is now it's gonna, we're gonna do a red bull again to flip-flop these two. To R, to B, to U, L, to up, R I to up R to up to F R to F L I to B to R. Now with that said, this is where we want it to be. This is upside down, but this orange is gonna correlate with this orange, so we just go crisplat, and now we're gonna red bull these guys down too. to R 
to b to u l to up r i to up r to up to f r to f l i to b to r. Now we've got to be very careful to move back everything that we had out. Now having done that, we simply turn this back. Okay, you know you've done it right if you haven't messed this up at all over here. So now it's just a matter of cleaning up the mess that we made once again. Move this over here, turn, turn, bring it back, and turn. One more to go. Turn, 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 and turn. Okay. Now once we've done that, we've got to clean up the mess over here as well, which we can do. So I'm going to start putting in, now that I've, I've got all these turned up, I'm going to start putting these centers back in. Turn this over here, turn, 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 and turn. Okay, I'm actually just matching up edges here. Turn, 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 and turn. Okay, now having done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the process of getting these corners back. So I'm going to I'm not going to worry about these up here yet. That's going to be done in, in due time. So let's flip flop these guys. To our u to our u to our to u to our to u to our u to our ui to our. And now I'm just going to flip these two. To our ui to our. Okay. So all that was just cleanup. So what we're going to do now is finish this over here. We're going to have to move these into place. I think parity has been pretty much taken out. We have one solid over here. All these corners are in. I'm just going to put edges. Let's swap these two. Now the problem here is understand that when I do any swapping, it's going to necessarily do swapping of the bottom layer over here. So my suggestion is this. When you're putting layers in, is to only do it to where you're doing adjacent swaps, not opposite swaps. The reason for that is that if you do an adjacent swap and then an opposite swap, you're not going to correlate the bottom part here. So I have this, which is all in. I want to make it to where this becomes right next to something that's already, that's also in. If I do an adjacent swap here, I'm going to put the red here. So this will be in and this will be in. To get that to happen, I will have done an adjacent swap, which will have adjacent swapped this side. But now the next step will be to do an opposite swap, because then this will be in and this will be in and these two will be out. But if I do that, it's going to cause an opposite swap here when this is already swapped. So you can see it's going to take it out of sync. So what I'm going to do is make it to where, if I put it here and do an adjacent swap here, this orange will come to here, which will be right next to this. So I'll have two adjacents that are in. After doing an adjacent swap, this will have been adjacently swapped and I'll have one more adjacent swap to go. So long story short, make sure you don't put two in that are opposite each other. So let's swap these two. To our u, to our u, to our to you, to our to you, to our u, to our ui, to our. So case in point, in and in, in and in. I can line these up together, and another adjacent swap will put both of these in. To our u, to our u, to our to you, to our to you, to our u, to our ui, to our. Piece of cake. So now all of our edges are placed, and now I do exactly the same concept with the corners. Any of these corners in, and it isn't. So we have to correlate and co we have to coordinate one layer with the other. So how, how are we going to do that? Well, if I have none in, and I do an adjacent edge swap, I can do it randomly up here, and one of them are going to be in. So let's just go ahead and do it. To our U, to our UI, to our, turn, turn, to our UI, to our U, to our. 
and turn it back. So what happened here is that predictably only one corner is now in. I'm going to keep that to the side. Find the one corner here that's, uh, that's in, which is here. By corner, I mean corner set. Move that to the side. And now I do it one more time. And what it's going to do is it's going to basically solve for the rest of the corners. So this is to the side. This is to the side. This will put all the corners in on both sides. It will be perfectly synced. 2RU, 2RUI, 2R. Turn, turn, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R, move it back, and now all of our corners are in. So now it's just a matter of doing edge swaps. Same kind of thing. Make sure that when you edge swap, it comes in next to the one that's already solved up here, because you're only go going to want to do adjacent edge swapping. So this screen can come here, 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U. 2R U, 2R UI, 2R. Okay, with that said, I'm not going to move this in place over here. This is good. These two need to be swapped, which will bring this back also. So another adjacent edge swap, 2R U, 2R U, 2R, 2U, 2U, 2R U, 2R UI, 2R. And there you have it. For the first time, a 4x4 a 4x5x5 four by five by five offset center, or you can call it a 4x4, four by 4x5x5 four, a four by five by five iCube solve, basically using no new strategies, no new techniques, just a little bit of positioning, a little bit of uh, outside thinking, strategizing, just use of regular corner swaps, edge swaps, red bulls, and end by end uh, solve techniques. So, Nicholas, I say, good job. Thanks for the puzzle. Hope this helped. And I hope this. Uh, help guide how to approach novel puzzles or, or novel situations. More to come, and if there's anybody else who's designed a Frankenstein monster where you created it but don't know how to control it, let me know, and we'll help you out. Thanks for watching.